Hey internet, welcome to Worldview Everlasting, your favorite YouTube addiction. And this is your daily fix. So it's Ash Wednesday, which in the history of the church is the first day of Lent, a time of intentional austerity and penitence dating back to just after the Council of Nicaea, a time of mimicking our Lord's willing humiliation on our behalf, similarly humiliating ourselves by means of some form of fasting, whether that be from sugar and chocolate, usually for the more self-indulgent reasons of dieting, or more appropriately, from ditching church, from not going to Bible study, or from failing to read the Bible at home with the kids, which are far more laudable fasting additions, if you ask me. This coming Sunday, we'll be remembering our Lord's humiliation specifically through the history of his conflict with Lucifer himself after a 40-day fast in the wilderness where, wretched and tired, he faced temptation and was tried in every way like we are, only without sin. There's a lot of confusion about this among Christians today, whether it be in thinking that it was possible for Jesus to fall, which it was not, or whether it be in thinking that Jesus was tempted without sin and that therefore we also are capable of enduring our own temptations without sin. St. James, that great apostle of justification before God by faith alone and justification before your neighbor by showing your faith in what you do, reminds us of the deep depravity of the human heart when he says in chapter 1 that each person is tempted when he is lured and enticed by his own desire. The horrible truth of this statement is that the only sins you are ever tempted to do are the sins that you actually deeply and spiritually want want to do. The real root of the sin is not the action and the death which is born after the sin is conceived, but the conception itself, the terrible audacity of the fallen condition in which there is no true fear of God before our eyes. All of this is to say that as a result, there is a lot of wasted time in Lent as people use the season to focus on themselves when the entire point of fasting from your cupcakes is so that you might take the extra time or money and focus it on Jesus. Every time you feel that urge for the cupcake and feel the weakness in your flesh in resisting, Acknowledge that the weakness of your flesh is what it is, a result of your idolatry of yourself. The troublesome fact that the biggest problem in your life is your own will, which you are not free from because you are enslaved to it more than to anything else. And then remember that this is why Christ faced the devil in your place, with the will that could face temptation but could not in fact be tempted by evil itself. So the devil shows him what Jesus already has, bread, power, eternal life, and his deceptions there are exposed as the insanity that they are but beneath Jesus' perfect human faith taken into the eternally perfected godly word. By his incarnation, fasting, and temptation, Jesus walks out of the wilderness where waste and sin tread dangerously in your place, ready to take your place for your failures in your own temptations on your cross, which he carries for you, dies on for you, and defeats for you, so that while today the church reminds you that from dust you were taken and because of your sins to dust you shall return, there ain't no grave that can keep your body down now that you have been washed with the regenerative promise of who Jesus is and what Jesus has done for you. Lent is nothing more or less than one more flavor emphasizing that walk of humiliation, which is not an act that we do, but a trust we have in the one who is able to act in our place and promises that his action will result on the last day in the death of our sin, but not in the death of ourselves. Jesus fought the devil and Jesus won. And you are buried in the wounds of Jesus. Nothing in this world can touch you now, not even cupcakes. Welcome to Lent. Catch you next time. Rock on. Worldview Everlasting is solid, Christian, and free because it is viewer supported. Your monthly gift of five, 10, or $25 is the reason that we can continue to improve and expand these tools for online Christian outreach and discipleship. To make a one-time donation, sign up for the Lutheran Ninja Clan regular giving, or to find information about how to put Worldview Everlasting in your congregation's budget, click donate now.